Hey, good evening guys. Tracy here with the House of Chuckles and today's Daily Mask Review. Uh, today we are going to do William Shatner, uh, Captain Kirk from Star Trek. This is a replica of the 1975 uh, Don Post Captain Kirk mask. Now, the reason we're kind of doing this following yesterday's Michael Myers mask is many of you know and and some of you probably don't know is that Captain Kurt mask the 1975 mask was the original Michael Myers from Halloween and what they did with that particular mask is they took off the eyebrows they made the eye holes larger they removed his sideburns, and you remember that uh, if you've seen a few of my other Michael Myers masks, that some have the remnants of the sideburns. You see the line there? They've molded that into the mask. And they poofed up his hair and they painted his face white to give him that uh, kind of a blank face look anyways this one here was put out in 2017 it is called the uh, Star Trek 1975 Captain uh, Captain Kirk uh, post by trick-or-treat studios and uh, it was it was made in Mexico much like uh, many of the uh, trick-or-treat masks and some people pick this up just to add it to their Michael Myers collection people pick it up to add it to their Star Trek collection and some people pick it up to make their own conversion of the original Michael Myers so they go ahead and they strip it down and fluff it up and and turn it into their own uh, Michael Myers original mask uh, me I'm just going to add it to my collection and there is a uh, uh, Spock mask and I'll set Spock next to it. I'll have uh, Captain Kirk in between uh, Michael Myers and uh, the Star Trek collection it should be quite fitting Anyhow the mask itself is uh, The latex is a little bit on the thinner side. It's about the thickness of a dime But as you can see it holds its form really well as it is it uh, I, I like I like the paint job some people don't but I think it, it looks pretty good uh, it's got the uh, fiber wool hair you know that makes it a little hard to brush but uh, but it does it does look good I mean you know it, it's got uh, different colors of, sh of shading different fibers in there so you kind of get a you know gray hairs and darker hairs and whatnot but anyhow, let's uh, go ahead and I will throw this on and we'll see how it fits so I can let you know how it fits me. Um, I don't I don't see any numbering on this one, so I don't believe that they're being numbered. Now, some of the Michael Myers masks run a little small uh, for my head, but this one here actually fit uh, really well. It was a, a little bit bigger than some of the other Michael Myers, like, uh, oh gosh, I, uh, I think like Michael Myers 4, H4, it runs small. Um, I think it was H5 runs small, so they, they fit really tight on me, but this this one here is... It wasn't, it, it fit, I mean, there was room. I can breathe out of it really well, and I can see out of it really well. Um, anyways, there it is. Hey, guys, let me know if you, what you would do with it if you uh, had one, you know. Would you uh, leave it as, as it is, add it to your collection of Star Trek, add it to your collection of Michael Myers, or convert it to an original Michael Myers? 
anyhow I will put this on the carousel and let you see it go around and uh, if you have any comments you know please leave them and I will get to you as quick as I can and that's about it other than I'll leave some links for you to check out and we will see you tomorrow